In this video, we are going to see how to automatically get the image links on Google Sheets using Pexel. So let's say that you have got certain titles in your Google Sheets along with the keywords. Now you want that with those keywords, you should be able to find certain images for which you are using Pexel application where you can find high quality images and videos for free. Now, once you have received these URLs, what do you want? Again, you want to send the same thing to your Google Sheet and update your cell value. This can be done and can get automated. How? By using Pabli Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Google Sheet and your action applications would be first Pexel and then again you are going to use Google Sheet. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process to understand that. Let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you already have an account, simply sign in. If you are a new user, then click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I already am a user over here and let's click on access now for Pabli Connect since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. Now we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that I have got certain titles in my Google Sheet or any other spreadsheet and then I have got certain keywords associated with them. With these keywords, with the help of Pexels application, I wish to find certain images that go with the title that I have shared. Now, Pexels is a provider of stock photography and stock footage where you can get high quality, royalty free stock images and copyright free pictures. So here I'm going to write or name my workflow as get the image links on Google Sheets through Pexels. Let's click on create. So as we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two significant events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is the response, basically do this. So here my trigger application would be Google Sheets. So I'm going to look for this. And now the event. Trigger event is the event that will make my workflow run. It would be new or updated spreadsheet row. Here we have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect with Google Sheets. I'm going to copy this and now I have to follow these steps so that the setup can be made, the connection can be made. So now I'm going to take you to the Google Sheet that I have created. So this is the Google Sheet that I have created. The name is Pexels Images Links and the name of the sheet is Sheet 1. Let's say the title here and the keywords is this. How to automate business processes is my title and let's say the keywords are sand timer or the clock or the space. So what do I want that through Pexel I should be able to have certain videos with these keywords, okay? Now to set up the connection between Pabli Connect and Google Sheet, I have to go to extensions, then go to add-ons and reach get add-ons. So here we have reached the Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we are going to look for Pabli Connect webhooks. So I'm going to click on this and here you can see that this has already been installed in my system. So please make sure that you have installed it once done. Close this window and then refresh the page. It is a mandate. And then you have to again go to extensions. So I'm going to now click on extensions. And here you can see that I can find Pabli Connect webhooks in the drop down. Then go to initial setup. Also remember that the send on event should be checked. Why? Because if you haven't checked it, then after every event, it would not be able to send the data. So now I'm going to go to initial setup. And here you can see that it has selected the sheet name and now we have to paste the webhook URL that we have just received through Pabli Connect. So I'm going to copy this, go here and paste it. Once done, here we have to write the trigger column. Basically, this is the final data column on which the data is added. For us, it is column number B. So I'm going to write B and send test. So here you can see that the test data has been sent successfully. Let's click on submit. And once this is done, then we are going to go back to Pabli Connect and here to see 
if we have received the response and yes we have received the api response this is our trigger column the title spreadsheet name id sheet name sheet id row index and keywords once we have received this information now i'm going to choose my next action application as pixels let's click on this and the action event here would be to search for photos let's click on this and click on connect so here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Paxels account. So I'm going to select add new connection. And here we have to provide the API key for the authorization. So how would you get that? First, you have to log into your Paxels account and then you have to click on this hyperlink. So as I do that here, you can see this is my API key. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste it over here. And now let's click on save. So once done here, we have to map this information, query, orientation, size, and color. Now mapping means that I already have this information either in my previous step or it is there in the system and I just have to retrieve it. Why do we do that? Because if we will write these values manually, then it will not get changed with the new data. So to make sure that every time with the new data, the workflow should run, we have to map it. Now I'm going to click on query and here we have to provide the keywords. So let's select this orientation. So you have got options, landscape, portrait and square. I need it in landscape itself. Now the size. So here you can select the size of the image. Let's make it large and you can also select the color. I'm going to leave it blank. Let's click on save and send test request. So here you can see that I have received the photo URLs. So basically I have received multiple, multiple pictures. So this is photo one, photo two, photo three. I have received a lot of pictures. Let me show you one of it. So this is the photo URL. I'm going to copy this, open this in a new tab over here. So as per the keyword space that I had given, this particular image has been received. Also, if I take you down here, let's check another one. So this is another URL. I'm going to show this to you. So let's open this in a new tab. And here you can see this is another image that we have received. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to public connect and this time I'm going to choose my last action application, which is Google sheet once again. Why? Because I'm going to now update the sheet that I have created with the links. The action event here would be update range values. Why? Because we have to update a range for the three links that we wish to inculcate in our Google sheet. Let's click on connect. And this time I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. So once done, let's map the data. So this is Pexels images link. The sheet has already been here and the name of the sheet. Now the range. So let me show you the sheet and here the range would be C to E, right? So how am I going to write it? I'm going to write it at C and then the row index would be two. So this is C2 and then we are going to put a colon and then again, I'm going to write E and the row index would be two. This is how you have to write the range. Now the values, the values are supposed to be written within big brackets and also with double inverted commas. So I'm going to put a double inverted comma, go to step two. And this is the first URL that I have received. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close this with double inverted comma, put a comma and again, repeat the same. So this time I'm going to go for photos one and close open for the new one. And let's say this time it is photo number two. So I have received three photos here. I'm going to close it. Sorry. Yeah, here I'm going to close it and close it with big bracket. So once this is done, let's click on save and send test request. So here it is saying that my sheet has been updated. So let me take you to the sheet. And yes, here you can see that my sheet has been updated. But now we also need to check it in real time. How am I going to do that? I'm going to add another title over here. Okay. So let's say that the title is how to stay healthy and fit. And the keywords, let's say are weights, fruits, and vegetables and let's say some sports person okay now as soon as i have written this what should happen automatically the link should be created and here you have the links right in front of you 
So I'm going to show you one of these links. Let's click copy this, open the link in a new tab. And here, these are the sports persons, right? So it will give you multiple images. You can select the image that you wish to. Now going back to Public Connect, I'm going to exactly show you what we have done so that you are through with the integration process. So our trigger application was Google Sheets, where the event was new or the updated spreadsheet row. Then as I take you down, our action application was Pixels, and here the event was search for photos. And our last action application was again Google Sheet, where we had updated the range values. I hope this is very much clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, don't worry, you can refer to the workflow. The same workflow that we have worked on is there in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if there is any particular integration that you wish to work on, please write to us. Thank you. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.